reference to we're gonna draw ox. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. We always hope they follow along because yeah. art is better with friends. Yeah, friends like you. Now you need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and some to color with. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the ox's nose. We're gonna draw an oval shape right here in the middle of our paper. Next, let's add nostrils. I'm gonna add a little oval on the left and also on the right. Okay, now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle about this big and a circle the same size over here. And then we could also add the little highlight. We'll draw a smaller oval in the top right of each eye. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Now let's draw the head. We're gonna start here at the bottom of the oval and we're gonna draw a circle that comes around like this, around, see how I get bigger towards the top? And then we're gonna come back and connect at the bottom of the nose. There you go, it's a little tricky. But you're doing a great job. <laughs> so, it kind of looks like a pig, so let's add, yeah. let's add some horns. We're gonna draw really big horns. We'll start here at the top of the head, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out to the side like this, and then curves up. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna match that same curve. We'll come out, and then curve up, and I'm also curving in too. Then we're gonna start back up here at the top and we're gonna curve around and we're gonna match that same curve that we already drew, but look, I'm getting bigger as we come into the head. There you go. And then let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. We'll curve around and we're gonna repeat that shape of the horn it comes in but gets further away as we come in. I love that our two drawings are looking a little different. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if our art friend's drawings are turning out different too, because the most important thing is... To have fun and to practice. Yeah, remember to practice. All right, let's keep going. Now let's draw the ears. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down underneath the horn. And then we're gonna curve around back into the head. Let's do the same thing over here. Draw a curve that comes down and out, curve back around and then connect into the head. We could also add a little line for the inside of the ear, little curve. Oh, let's also, let's get a little spiky hair at the top. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw the body. We're gonna start over here. We're gonna draw a big body that comes down and out, so a little curve at the top and then curve down. And then let's do the same thing over here on this side. We're gonna curve out a little bit and then down. Then let's draw the bottom of their legs or their hooves, their feet. We're gonna draw a little curve on each side coming in and we want both of these curves to be the same length. Now let's draw a line that comes up and we're only gonna come a little ways up. And then let's draw the belly. We're gonna draw a curve that connects these two legs and feet together. And then let's draw the back legs too. So we're gonna draw a short curve comes in and then up. And then we'll do that same thing over here. Come in and then connect up. Oh, let's draw hooves. We're gonna draw a curve that comes across the bottom of each leg. Yes, and the back legs too, good job. Then let's draw a little spiky zigzag line on the bottom of our ox's leg. And we can also draw the chest. Let's draw an upside down U that comes around and back down. What are we missing? The tail. Yeah, his tail. We'll draw it coming out to the side. Curve up. And then let's draw another line right next to it to make it thicker. And look how I taper a little closer towards the end. 
And then at the end of the tail, let's draw the letter U. And then on one side, let's draw an S curve. We're going to curve in and then back out. And then start at the top and we'll curve straight down to the other side. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our ox. Your drawing looks so cool. Except we still need one more step. Color it. Yeah, this is my favorite step. We're gonna fast forward this part one more time, but at the end you can pause the video if you wanna match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. I love your ox drawing so much. It turned out really cool all colored in. Yeah. We used our warm grays to color our, our drawings, but you could color your ox any way you want. Maybe it's brown or even a black ox. And you could also add a background. Oh, that would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your ox. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.